Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0. Today is day 35. So today we're going to put all the final pieces together. If you will recall, as we've been working through the challenge, we've been in zip forms. We came in and we created a transaction. We created a template. We brought the template into the transaction. That included all of these documents. We filled in all of the documents and sent them off for signatures. We got those signatures back. Then we came into command. We created our opportunity and we connected that opportunity to DocuSign. So here's our opportunity and documents were connected to DocuSign. So you can see if I go to transaction, it's gonna open my DocuSign room and we merged those uh, transaction to the room and we brought in all the documents. So here are all of those documents. The final piece of the puzzle is just to go through, select our checklist. So this was a buyer checklist. These would be, uh, let's just do a sales contract pre-owned. And this is the under contract folder. And then I can come in and start actually putting in all of the documents that I need to put in. So broker notice to buyer tenant. I would just use add, attach multiple files. You've seen me do this before. I'm gonna choose DocuSign, and then all of my documents are going to be inside of this folder. So here's the broker notice to buyer tenant, uh, representation agreement, right? So I would just go through and actually add in all of the documents that I need, click on attach, and then I can click on submit to MC. So that's kind of how we put it all together, zip forms to DocuSign to command. Another thing today that I wanted to show you that I thought was really interesting within zip form is what's called the fast fill. So let's say uh, I've been in the business for a while. I fill out uh, buyer rep agreements very regularly because I'm a buyer's agent. Uh, I have the ability, whoops, these are my signed versions. My apologies. Let's get into the actual documents, not the signed ones. So if I click on documents, here are all my forms. And let's say this is a form that I fill out extremely regularly. I know pretty much all the blanks that need to be filled in. There is a tool here called Fast Fill. So if I click on that, it's actually going to show me just the blanks. So I can go through and if I know what all of these need to be because I fill it out so often, I can come through and boom, just knock these out in really quick, short time. And then if I want to go back to the viewer, I can click on that same button and it's going to take me back into the full document with all of the words. So similar if it's uh, maybe the contract document in your world, right? In ours, it's the family one to four. So I could click on this document. This one has something like, I don't know, nine or 10 pages, but I could do fast fill and then just see all of the blanks that need to be filled in. So this may make it a lot quicker to fill in your documents without having to actually scroll through all of the pages and look at all of that information. You can also see what's automatically being filled in because of our template. So that's it for today, guys. Pretty short and sweet. How to land the plane with regards to connecting zip forms to DocuSign to command, and then the fast fill tool within zip form. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.